This is the support P-pop is getting from some of our own singers. Ano tingin niyo sa P-pop? <laughs> sa P-pop yung mga SB90, <laughs> nagagandahan ba kayo sa trabaho nila? Ah, uh, hindi ko. Kaya nga ako na nagbigay ng tip eh. Hindi na, hindi na ako mag- Salam niyo na. Hindi ko magaganda gawin. I didn't know anything about these interviews until I checked my comment section. And curiosity got the better of me. So welcome to another episode of my reaction to their reaction. Let's start with this Filipino legendary singer, Ray Valera. The interview was simple. He was just asked about his opinion on P-pop. Ano tingin niyo sa P-pop? Sa P-pop yung mga SB90 kasi yun ngayon ang uso, 'di ba, yung mga P-pop. Oh, yan, okay din 'yun. Paano namin merdi kami mga ganyan? Mga menudo, 'di ba? What did he mean when he mentioned Menudo? They're not even from the Philippines. They're a Latin boy band based in Puerto Rico. Did he mention it because the name is the same as one of our popular dishes? So instead of directly answering the question, he started giving these tips that weren't even asked. Oh, may mga mga tip. Ayon, tip ako sa kanila. Ganito yun, nung panahon namin, kapag meron kang four chords na pinaikot-ikot mong ganyan, kantsaw ang aabuti mo sa panahon namin. Katakot-takot ang kantsaw na aabuti mo sa barkada mo, sa mga music lovers, sa mga kapwa mong songwriter. Pwede ka na umuwi at huwag ka nang lumabas. Ganun ang aabuti mong kahilian. Ngayon, parang ano yun? Ano na lang, parang... Hindi niyo pinapansin 'yon. All right. Sa akin, na tip ko, ano yun, hindi ano yan, hindi maganda yan. Right off the bat, Ray's giving me vibes that show he's still living in the past and he sounded like he's not really happy about how the music has evolved in recent years. Kasi ang mga nakikinig, hindi lang basta-basta TikTok 'yan eh. Meron din mga music lovers. Aangat kay nang aangat ng antas. Hindi po ba TikTok? Aabot din kayo sa ibang antas, mayroong ibang mga, mga, mga music lover na ibang hinahanap sa tenga, diba? At pag narinig yung ganon, nakakatulog, nabobor, ayun sabihin, diba? Patay tayo dyan! And since he didn't really answer the question, the interviewer reminded him to answer it. Yung follow up po niya kanina na nagagandahan ba kayo? Kasi pinapakinggan niyo eh, pero nagagandahan ba kayo sa trabaho nila? Ah, uh, hindi ko. Kaya nga, oh? ako na nagbigay ng tip. Hindi na, hindi na ako magkukuha. Salam niyo na, ala. Hindi nga eh. Hindi ko magagandang gawa niyo. Oh, kasi nga, ang inanok nga, tinutulungan ko na nga kayo. Para sa kasakali kumulad, diba? Hmm, he's talking about improvements when P-pop today, especially as B-90's music, has achieved better than the music in the past because they didn't even manage to penetrate the international market which clearly shows that he doesn't really know much about the p-pop industry it's never bad to admit if you don't know much about a certain genre but i guess it was just his ego taking over being a legend of opm and all that now we move on to x-factor uk contestant maria larocco She was given the same question about her opinion on P-pop. Do you what do you think of the P-pop domination movement in the local music industry? You know what I'm talking about? Yung mga SB19, yes. mga uh, Alamat, you know, Bini. What do you think of that? And do you know? Are you familiar with their music? Rachel, Mona, please. Oh, oh okay, come Maria. Um, singer. Yes, it's a, it's a, um, it's a, um. Good thing din po for us Filipinos kasi nakikilala din po talaga yung mga artists po natin. Hindi lang po dito sa local, kundi also internationally po. Which is um, something that we need po talaga kasi um, ang Philippines po talaga overflowing with talents po talaga. And it's something that um, international po, hindi pa nila masyadong nakikita po. Kasi parang mas lalo nila tinatangkilip po yung mga ibang lahi dahil na Asians po tayo. So, um, napakagandang ano din po nun, talagang way for us to be seen po worldwide. And, um, pero siguro din po talaga, we, we need to have um, more identity pa. Kasi it's, it's like K-pop po kasi eh. So, parang it's, it's very uh, similar din po in a way to each other. But, um, yeah. 
What did she mean about more identity? Her vibe is yet again someone who doesn't know much about the genre. I'm so tired of P-pop being labeled as copycat of K-pop because K-pop itself is just a mere branch which means pop that is made in Korea. And it's not even original. Everything under the pop genre will always be similar and I hate to do this again but here are more examples. <laughs> You say you love me, I say you crazy We're nothing more than friends You got me feeling like a psycho Psycho Only come home by the taco Taco Said he loves me cause I'm loyal Loyal Banana bought me cause I'm loyal Loyal And if you love I'm holding you close and so if you feel you're sinking, I will jump right over. I said, I'm pushing my so high and do the mind of the chill out. What she yelling for? Lay back, it's all been done before. But you're familiar with their music, you mga SB19, alam mo naman. Ah, uh, uh, some of their songs got there, but I'm not really good for you. And not. Hindi ko po talaga alam yung title kasi Tagalog, more on ano po talaga, foreign songs or yan, brown dating and mga close your hands. I knew it. It's so ironic that she had the boldness to call out P-pop as needing more identity when she only listens to Western singers like Ariana Grande and Doja Cat. These are artists who are not entirely original either. But this the Tiffany's and bottles of bubbles Girls with tattoos who like getting in trouble Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens Bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens Hey then if you want to But I only hate on it cause I want you Sam Hey girl, want you to After Maria, Rachel Alejandro shares her take on P-pop. Yeah, I think it's great. And one of the things that I love about it is that it, um, that it, it encourages for young people to, um, you know, the positivity. Because like, for instance, you have the name BTS, for instance, and those guys stand for good things, you know, and new lifestyle na malinis, alam mo yun, yung, I think it's a good, ano eh, parang maganda sila ng example sa mga kabataan. And while tama yung sinabi ni Maria na yes, parang I wish we had something na talagang nag-originate from the Philippines that isn't kind of a copy of K-pop, di ba? Kasi parang K-pop, parang kinopi sa fake K-pop, and of course the music is in a way kind of similar. But I'd like to think naman na merong mga melodies and then mga parang valid din tayo sa mga, sa mga, for instance, yung uh, SPS, di ba, na ano, yung yung SP19 pala, SP19, may mga ano rin naman, may mga, uh, may mga pali din na mga, na may flavor din naman na, na, na narinig ako na very Filipino. Parang yung mga minix pa rin yung, of course, yung style ng no, K-pop with some Filipino flavor mm -hmm. in a way, and which is why I think kinakagat din yung SP19 and other, uh, Bini and, and those music. I love it also that kino combine nila yung sing and dance. I actually like her take better. While I didn't enjoy her comment about P-pop similarity to K-pop, she sounded like she actually listened to some P-pop songs to mention that there is some original flavor put into it. But unfortunately, she also sounded like she's someone who prefers K-pop to P-pop, especially when she said this. Just like I, like I said, you like know, you. it's nice to see, you know, fit um, kids diba, that um, espouse a healthy, active, image, you know, na clean, clean living. Yun, yun naman kasi yung ano ng, ng K-pop eh, na parang, ano sila, positive energy. And I think anyone could use some positivity in this case. I don't know guys, maybe it's just me, but what do you think? Let me know down in the comment section. For now, let me just say that whatever these people say, it doesn't matter because whether they like it or not, P-pop is on the rise and ain't nobody, even singers, will stop that. <laughs>